Team Node.js is the only real dev language or not. You may still want to send emails from it, particularly with Gmail SMTP. And I'll show you how to do that using Node Mailer. Stay tuned as I share traditional and not so traditional ways of sending emails in Node Mailer with Gmail, as well as 10 types of attachments you can add to your emails. Hello and welcome to MailTrap videos where we explore the world of emails. To send emails using an SMTP server, first, we need to enable Google App Password. Go to Google Account Settings, navigate to Security, and click Two-Step Verification. Scroll to the bottom, and you'll see App Passwords. Open it, and create a new App Password by typing the desired name. I'll call it Node Mailer. Click Create, and the App Password will appear on the screen. Copy and save it in a secure location. Open the code editor and navigate to the location where you want to generate the project. Create a new directory and give it a name. I'll call it node.js node mailer gmail. Open the newly created folder and the terminal. Start by initializing a new node.js project. Install the necessary dependencies by running the npm install node mailer .env command. Create a new folder in the root of the project and call it src. And inside src, create the index.js file. In the root of the project, I'll create another file called .env that will hold environment variables. In the .env file, paste the environment variables such as Gmail SMTP, your email address, and the app password. Remember that you can remove spaces between the letter groups in the app password if needed. But Gmail will ignore the spaces before hashing it away. Close the .env file and start configuring the index.js file. Load the environment variables from a .env file using the .env package. Then import the node mailer module to send emails using the SMTP server. Create the transporter object that will be responsible for defining the email sending service configuration, such as SMTP host, port, and authentication details. The username, host, and password will be pulled from the .env file. Now create the mail options object that defines the content of the email. Add the from address that will be pulled from the .env file, as it's the same as the Gmail user. Then add the to email address, subject line, and body. Finally, let's send an email. Define the send mail method of the transporter to send the email using the options defined earlier. And add error handling. That's it. Save the script and run the server using the node src slash index.js command. Let's check the inbox. Great, the email is in the inbox. Crushed it. Now let's send an HTML email. But before we jump into it, take a little break and subscribe to our channel. We've got other node.js and JavaScript tutorials, so check them out. All right, back to our project. Remember the not so traditional method that I promised? Well, instead of specifying the Gmail host, port, and secure separately, you can simply add service, Gmail. This is a shorthand option, as Gmail is a known host in Node Mailer. Moving on to the HTML. Inside the mail options, add the HTML content, similar to what we did with the text content. Here, you can also add alternative content types, such as Markdown, for example, as some email clients may support it. You can add as many alternatives as you want, but it's best to stick to a few reasonable ones. The script is ready. Let's send an email and check the inbox. The email with HTML content is right there. Oh. All our previous examples were addressed to one recipient. 
Let's see if I'll be able to send emails to multiple recipients with the same script. One way to send emails to multiple recipients is to add multiple email addresses in the to field. However, in that case, all recipients will be able to see one another's email addresses. To avoid that, you can specify the recipient's email addresses in the BCC field. Let's run the script and send an email to see how that works. Check the inboxes. In my case, these are disposable email addresses. As you can see, the recipient's email addresses that I specified in the to field are visible, but the BCC isn't. And I received emails to all the email addresses I had specified. Finally, let's see how you can send emails with attachments using NodeMailer and Gmail. Within the same script, inside the mail options, add an attachments property, which will be an array containing all my attachments from different sources. The first one will be a UTF-8 string as an attachment. I'll specify the file name and content. The second one will be added as a binary buffer. Again, I'll specify the file name. In the content, I'll create a new buffer that will convert the string hello world into a buffer using UTF-8 encoding. I want to read the third file from a disk. For that, I need to import the path and file system or FS modules. The path module provides utilities for working with file and directory paths, while the FS module allows for reading from and writing to files. Next, create a file in the root of the folder by right-clicking and choosing New File. Give it a name and add your content inside. Return to the index.js file. Specify the file name if you want. Note that the file name is different from the actual name of the file. That's because the file name property specifies the attachment name the recipient will see. Then set the path to the actual file in your system. I'll also add the path without a file name to show you what it will look like in the inbox. Now I'll add the fifth attachment. This one will be attached using the read stream. Using this method, the file will be processed in chunks, which can be very helpful when dealing with large files. For the sixth attachment, I'll add the custom content as the attachment type. So I'll specify the file name, add content, and set the content type as text slash plain. As the seventh type, I'll add a URL as an attachment. Simply specify the file name and add the URL as a path. The eighth attachment will be an encoded string. The content is the base64 encoded version of Hello World. Of course, I also need to tell NodeMailer that the content provided is encoded in base64 and needs to be decoded before being attached to the email. As our ninth attachment, let's add data URI. This method is useful for attaching small files without referencing the external file paths. So all you have to do is specify the path with a URI scheme, mime type, base64, and the encoded content. For our 10th and final attachment type, I'll build the raw content of the attachment manually. I'll specify the content type and content disposition headers. This will instruct the email clients that the attachment content is plain text and should be treated as an attachment. That is, prompt the user to download the file. Don't forget to add line breaks to comply with email protocols. Finally, specify the content of the attachment. But will this work though? Let's see. Run the code and open the inbox. As you can see, all 10 attachments are right there and work just as expected. Boom. Nailed it. All done. Now you know how to send emails in NodeMailer with Gmail. But how do you send emails without Gmail SMTP? How do you send emails with other SMTP servers or API? Check out our node.js tutorial to learn more. See you there.